Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a day trading education channel. In this video, I'm gonna emphasize the importance of risk to reward ratios and how yesterday I made a trade that made me 9,400 some odd dollars. Let's get into it. But first, you're probably curious about my Elsa and Anna frozen background. A viewer suggested that it was too dark, so I had my daughter help me decorate. All her. Okay, so here's what happened yesterday. Right now on the chart, I'm looking at DAX, the German 40. It's the equivalent of US 30 in America. It's a European indice. The first signal that I took was a short position on this candle, stop loss at this floating MA, and I was shooting for a one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. This indicator right here is a sessions indicator and I just like to have it on because it shows me Tokyo session and I like to trade breakouts of Tokyo session. And so I was under the assumption that since we had one signal and then I took the second one that it would break out to the downside, but it didn't and I lost. So that was minus 1%. Then once we got to the top of the Tokyo session range, I saw a hard pull back in. My assumption was that this was a liquidity grab, just trapping people and then cascading down. Once I saw that, I entered in a short position and I had a ridiculously tight stop loss. I expected the momentum to just continue down and my price target was about market open. As you can see, that stop loss got hit and then we got this huge bearish engulfing candle so I tried again, stop loss above that wick, got stopped out a second time almost instantly. So I try to shoot for a stop loss of 1% or less if I can manage it. And so the first one was like a 0.75% stop loss. The second one was a 1% and the third one was also about a 0.75% stop loss. Then once we got to 15,700, a nice round number and a key bank level, I watched this small double top form. And then once we got this high, that is exactly when I entered in my short position. My stop loss was just above the wick, extremely, extremely tight, which made my position size very, very, very large. The reason I did this was because if you look at this high, and this high and this high, you have no divergence in between these two. This one, you got a bearish divergence, meaning that the RSI or whatever oscillator failed to make a higher high. So that was my trade, stop loss above that candle, extremely tight, again, large position size. And at this point, the move had gone up so much, I was targeting a 618 retracement just in case there was a trend continuation. So I took my Fibonacci tool from the bottom to the top of the movement and the 618 level is right here. I ended up closing my trade right here on this wick. My original target was 609 because if you look at the higher time frame, if market did cross that moving average, it would continue a downtrend. But I had a lot on the line and I didn't want to risk it, so I knew for sure a 618 retracement would happen. Really regret not holding that in hindsight. Which is why I want to stress the importance of risk to reward ratios because say I lost a percent, I lost a percent, I lost a percent and then I had one of these with a 1 to 8 meaning that I lost 3% here, but I gained 8% here, so I'm up 5% on the account for the day. This is the risk that you take when trading on the one minute time frame, trying to catch a reversal or a trend reversal trade. They are risky and you get stopped out constantly, but when you do get it, damn, it feels good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn more about Fibonacci retracements, check out this playlist right here. It's got all the information that you need. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.